So good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 2024 Itasca Symposium. Uh, I'd like to start with acknowledging that we are gathering here today on traditional and sacred land of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Chippewas, the Anishinaabeg, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wanda peoples. And this is today the home of many diverse First Nations, Inuit and Metis people. We are eternally grateful for the indigenous stewardship of these lands and waters. Thank you. So this is the sixth time that we hold the International Atasca Symposium. First time in Toronto, it's great to be here. My name is John Nischöbe. I'm the CEO of Itasca International. I feel both privileged and happy to be part of this event. So we'll have the chance to listen of a range of presentation in the next two days, three days, on the application and use of the Itasca family of numerical modeling software shown here. We'll hear from different types of applications, civil, energy, mining, for both surface and underground constructions. So there will be a lot of talk about modeling uh, over the next uh, couple of days. I'm going to share some of my thoughts on this first. So why do we do modeling? This is a definition from Encyclopedia Britannica. I'd like to highlight a few things. So models are a representation of the real world. We use them to explain and predict behavior. And they are, as always, approximations. So we build our models to represent the real world. Um, we use them to solve difficult and challenging problems that we can't solve with other available tools. But not to forget, we also have a lot of fun. It's great engineering work satisfaction to work with numerical models. I think we'll hear that over the next few days also. So there's been this rapid advance in computers and what computers can do over the last decades, um, from simple punch cards to the first terminals to desktops to connect the desktops and clusters, and now the use of cloud computing. But you know, center to all of this is the human brain and our ability to analyze patterns, understand behaviors, make use of the information that comes from the computers. And I believe this is paramount to what we do. We use our brain, our engineering judgment to make sense of things with modeling computers being the tools to do that. So understanding interpretation is key here. And we have to make sure that the models represent the right physics. This also means that simple is sometimes better, but in other cases not. It all depends on the problem at hand. Machine learning, artificial intelligence, it's already here. It will certainly help us in the future. But without that basic understanding of physics, we will not succeed. To use these new tools as an additional aid to increase your own grasp of things. And then the time you save, spend it wisely. Spend it on looking at data, interpreting the models, and understanding again. I very much like this quote by Peter Kandel. There's an art to using software tools correctly. It's not just a case of plugging in the data and hitting run. We need to understand the underlying physics and whether the model properly represents it. Now, having said that, doesn't mean that there are not things that we can improve in the modeling tools themselves. So I made this wish list. It's geared a bit more towards mining, but I think it's applicable to other engineering disciplines as well. So it would be good if we have a numerical model that is a mathematical copy of the rock mass. And maybe this is to grain or near grain scale modeling with simple contact models where rock mass behavior is self emergent. That also means that the model scale would range from microcentimeters to macro thousand meters in the same numerical model and we cover all scales of interest and we would run that probabilistically so to account for any remaining uncertainties in our input data and model any phenomena that are not deterministic in nature and finally it would be good to run those in near real time 
So we run static dynamic calculations in a few minutes. Geometries, results are automatically updated as mine develops. Or tablet. So still a lot of things to accomplish. Hopefully we'll hear something on these topics over the next few days also.